Hello everyone, this is Greg Tastic here, and today I'm going to show you how to, uh, I forgot what I was going to show you. Oh, I was going to show you guys how to transfer uh, ROMs over to your Steam Link. In a previous video, I showed you how to set up RetroArch on the Steam Link locally, and now I'm going to show you how to transfer ROMs over to the Steam Link so that you could, theoretically, play them on the Steam Link with the ROM over there because you know like I said in the previous video when you set up the RetroArch uh, it's you could have set up loaded the ROMs like right then but I like using this method better and this way you could go back and add ROMs afterwards or delete ROMs you don't have to just go with what you originally had the first thing that we need to do is set up a directory to put on our flash drive. And this is going to basically enable the Steam Link to transfer files with your computer. So we're going to create a folder called Steam Link. We're going to open that up. In there, we're going to create another folder called config. Open that up. In there, we're going to create a folder called system. Open that up. And then we're going to create a text file text document. We're going to call this enable underscore ssh. This cannot be blank. This is what's going to enable it, but it can't be blank. So I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to say enable ssh. That's not, you know, what you have to type. It just can't be a blank text document. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take, you're going to go back to this, you know, directory steam link. You're going to copy that onto a flash drive and you're going to reboot the Steam Link with that on the flash drive and the flash drive connected to the Steam Link. Like I told you guys last time when we were doing RetroArch, you have to actually take the power out of the Steam Link. You can't turn it off and then turn it back on. You have to take the power out of the Steam Link, reboot it with that on the flash drive, and that's going to enable SSH. And what's that going to do? Well, we could use something like Putty to old school SSH it over but this is 2017 so what I use is FileZilla and you could really use any uh, I'm just like looking at this screen making sure there's nothing no sensitive information on here but um, you could really use any you know file transfer uh, program that supports SSH I just like FileZilla I don't know why I do and you're gonna go over to uh, I mean, you could type it up here, but if you want to, and quick connect, but if you want to, like, save it to use other times, uh, you could create a new site, and, you know, we're going to call it, I already have Steam Link, so I'll call, well, sorry, for the host, you're going to type in the IP address of your Steam Link. If you don't know how to get that, when you first boot up the Steam Link, you go to settings, and then network, and it's going to list your IP address. I would show you uh, the IP address for the Steam Link. I would show you how to do that, but there's other like information in there that I don't want on screen. The IP I don't really care because you're not going to be able to <sighs> hack my internet or anything like that. You're going to choose log on type as normal. We're going to choose root as our username. And then the password is steamlink123. Again, the password is steamlink123. We're going to make sure it's SFTP, and then we're going to hit connect. And I got an error. Um, maybe I set something up wrong here. SSH root. No, it looks the same. Let me see if I could connect to this one. Yeah, that one works. So I don't know why the second one didn't work, but that's how you do it. You set up the IP address. The username is root, the password steamlink123, and then it's going to connect you to the uh, Steam Link. And where did it connect me? It connected me all the way here to Steam, but I will go up, and up, uh, up a level. And then to get to our ROMs directory, we're going to go to Apps. RetroArch is right there. Extra, that's where they put the... Uh, Cores, so I guess you could try and put another core in there and see if it works. 
I'm not going to waste my time because right now, even though I'm doing these videos to show that this stuff works, I'm actually hoping someone who's smarter than me could actually figure out how to get the controllers to work properly because I tried an Xbox One, a PlayStation 4, and a Super Nintendo-like retro controller, and none of them work properly in RetroArch on the Steam Link like this. So this seems like kind of like a proof of concept type thing. I don't think they have it like fully flushed out yet. But anyway, if you go to ROMs, and then over on your computer, you could look for, you know, wherever you have your ROM, and you could just upload it to the Steam Link, and it's there. That's done, that's it. And when you open up RetroArch on the Steam Link, the ROM's going to be there. And I'm going to show you that in the next video, although I don't think that the game is even worth playing because I can't get the D-pad to work on any of my controllers. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.